Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. We've reached a literal roadblock here. Sounds like the Crusaders aren't even letting summoners through, so... Well, let's see if we can uh, get in on the conversation here. The Mushroom Rock Road is off-limits to non-Crusader personnel until the end of the mission. Okay. We apologize for the inconvenience, but this road is closed. We apologize for the in- mm. Did they tell you guys anything? Oh, it's you. As you can see, not even summoners can pass. But they'll call on us in the end. Just wait and see. In the meantime, I think I'll have a nap. Oh, Bartello. Hmm. Isn't that Gata? Gata and Loser reporting, sir. This is the last of them. Good to have you with us. Go on through. What is that thing? Show me how to play Blitz sometime. Wait around. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. Donation toward Operation Meehan would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I'd rather not give something if I don't know what I'm giving it for, so. Well, not right now, anyway. Alright. Hey, you're a summoner, and her guardians, right? Sorry for the inconvenience. Is there anything you can tell us? You know, maybe, like, how long it's gonna take, maybe? What, they didn't tell you? We're bringing Sin Spawn from Oliver Spira here. Sin Spawn inevitably draws Sin, right? We're going to lure it into a trap. Okay. This mission, Operation Meehan, is a Crusader Albed joint mission. We Crusaders lure Sin in, and the Albed strike it down. You see, Albed hates Sin as much as we do. They managed to salvage ancient Machina. They say they're as powerful as the mighty Aeons. Well, you know, Machina are forbidden by Yevon. Uh, on second thought, let's not go there. Better for you not to know. The Crusaders in Operation Meehan have all been excommunicated. My own family won't even speak to me now. We have to beat Sin today. Otherwise, there's nowhere for us to go. I wonder what the Albed managed to salvage about you. I'm sorry, I can't let you pass. Oh, okay. Guess we can't talk to them. All right. Well, what do we do now? Who knows how long it's going to take? Of course, if they defeat Sin. Might as well just go home. Or at least take you home anyway. So, we meet again, Lady Yuna. I yes You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? <sighs> well... I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But, but Maester Seymour, Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Oh, thank you, Your Grace.
Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. Who does he think he is? He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? <laughs> But yeah, the uh, Red and White Crusader there, if you wanted to donate, uh, I believe you, if you give him 100 gil, he'll give you a scout. Uh, it's just a regular scout, just with a sensor ability, no extra abilities or anything on it. For 1,000 gil, he'll give you an Ice Lance. It has the it has a piercing and ice strike ability uh, for Kamari there as well. And then for 10,000 gil, he'll give you a Moon Ring, which has the SOS Shell and SOS Protect ability on it. So what that means is basically... Anytime, uh, well, obviously it's a ring, so it's for Yuna. So anytime Yuna drops below 50% HP, uh, all magic damage and all protect, well, yeah. Essentially, magic damage, all magic damage and all all protect, all uh, physical damage is halved so, uh, for as long as she's uh, below that threshold. So just keep that in mind. There are exceptions, but uh, there won't be exception to the, exceptions to that for a while. So, yeah, don't have to worry about that. So yeah, three items that I'm not necessarily interested in getting. So I'll save the money. All hail, Maester Seymour. Brave crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Sir! What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the Crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings, they're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that, too. <laughs> Lulu! Hmm. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. Ah, Sir Oran. It is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I see. Sir Aaron must be a great asset as a guardian. Your Grace! Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour. Why is your lordship presently present here, sir? Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -mm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the Maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. Uh... <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a Maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. You're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. But you know, some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to me. Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's take care of the uh, sphere grid stuff here. Uh, eh, we won't worry about it yet. We don't have a safe sphere around here to worry about it, so. 
for you. To this garden, we get a tough bangle. A very, very, very useful item indeed for Lulu. It has the HP plus 20% on it. HP plus 20 is a late game ability. Um, <laughs> it takes some, some stuff to get. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a really good piece of armor for her to have. Not to mention it definitely renders her Seeker's Bangle obsolete, but yeah. Definitely recommend getting this thing. Really helps her out, especially in the HP department. So yeah. All right. I like how these uh, HP, these HP boosts, and all that kind of stuff are percentage based, so that they remain, quote unquote, relevant throughout the game, rather than just a flat amount. You know, it could be like just HP plus like 200 HP or whatever, and then as the game goes on, it's kind of get, becomes more and more uh, useless kind of thing. So or not use, not necessarily useless, but. Uh, just uh, less relevant kind of thing, so yeah. Kind of like how they did the percentage base, but anyways. What you? Right, and we get a remedy from him, and this crusader here... Ah, oh, didn't get him in time. Oop, no, I just... Ah, <sighs> alright. Alright. Yeah, there's battles around here, so yeah. Enemies we've faced before, though. Uh, oh, well, thank you very much. You got a high potion from her. What about you? Oh, wow. Gives us another. Awesome. Alright, and what about you, sir? Oh, wow. Uh, shouldn't you hold on to these? I mean, they're, they're your supplies. I mean, <laughs> that's like giving away an MRE on, on the battlefield kind of thing. But, well, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, if you need them back, let us know. You know. Alright. Excuse me, Lady Summoner Yuna? Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. Thank you. Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. Alrighty. Uh, which way? I'm just doing my job. Yeah, yeah, but, but I'm just do. Oh, okay. I guess not that way. Hmm. Oh, hey, Waku got through. How'd you get it? Good job, lad. <laughs> Sneak past the guards, I did. <laughs> Although, if you've got weapons on you now, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't let you through. But yeah, let's take a look. See what he's got. All right, we got an ice brand. Metal shield, right of wisdom, yeah, we got one better. Magic ring, I guess that could be useful in certain situations, but I'll stick with the uh, HP and silence ward, the HP plus 10% or whatever. Uh, no frost, nah, angle, nah, I want the HP plus 20% there. And yeah, slow word. Yeah, orange slow, I mean, <laughs> so that would kind of make him brutally slow, but uh, you know what, let's, uh, let's upgrade Titus's armor here, let's get the metal shield. Sell the uh, secret shield. It was a little bit better for him. And yeah, let's sell the secret ring here from Yuna. Uh, yeah, that's armlet, so I want to hold on to that. And sell that. Sell that. I might as well sell that. Hold on to that. Out of fire. And flame tongue. We just got that from that previous battle. I think I, I think I got it from the Vuivra, but yeah. And there we go. So I think that's all we need to hold on to. So, all right. We're making a fortune with Operation Meehen prices. And you, lad, you get a discount. I owe you one, eh? And yes, uh, for uh, giving him some money, or giving him some startup money, if you will, uh, he does, uh, if, as long as you give him more than one, as long as you give him above 100 uh, gil, I mean, above one, so like 101 gil plus, uh, he'll start giving you quote unquote discounts on his normal prices for uh, Operation Me here and here, which is like, I think he like doubles the price. So, yeah, give him 101, I think it drops the uh, the prices by 30%. And then giving him 1001, I think it's like 70% or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the percentages are. But generally, it's with the for the purposes of a specific weapon I want to purchase from him eventually, 
uh, 1,001 gil seems to be the the sweet spot as far as you know giving him money kind of thing. So yeah, so yeah, if you give, I think you can give him 10,001 gil, and that'll be that that enables you to get the maximum uh, uh, discount po uh, possible for him. So yeah, don't go above that if you uh, if you wanted to go that high. I suppose I should have mentioned that when we saw him on the uh, old road last time, but uh, oh well, another one. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, let's resort everything out here. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. And let's make sure we've still got okay. so many scouts. All right. Oh, well, that's taking care. So I guess Mister Seymour wants us up at the command center. All right. So there's a save sphere here. Let's take care of some. Uh, Sphere gritting stuff here. Let's get uh, Lulu that HP and defense. Ooh, defense plus four. What's the other one like? Yeah, another. She gets defense plus eight by coming up here. So, yeah, definitely worth it. I'd probably come up here for anybody, really. So, yeah, really good items. Uh, or nodes. All right, for Oren. Let's move him up here. I couldn't see because of his name whether there was anything in this node, but there is. Uh, is there anything else? No. Uh, Yuna, up here. Let's get her to HP and let's unlock that uh, lock there. We do get some uh, agility and some more HP. We do get a little bit, uh, get, get a nice healthy strength boost, which we probably won't need, but uh, three of the four nodes are relative, uh, quite relevant to Yuna, so yeah. Quite relevant to anybody, really. But, yeah, alright. Kimari, let's get him down here, get him some more MP. Ooh, I like that. And Titus, finally, we can put not only the Lux Sphere to use, but we can also use the uh, MP Sphere on him. All right, let's get out the other uh, another MP Sphere here. All right, so let's get him the go the MP Sphere here. Probably should have done the Lux Sphere first, but oh, we'll put the Lux Sphere there. All right, use the Fortune Sphere on the Lux the the the, the newly. Uh, appointed luck node here for a luck plus four so yeah we get very limited fortune spheres throughout the game um so i would highly recommend whoever you're giving the luck to only use them on lo on nodes that have luck plus four that's the maximum boost you can get with the luck so yeah since they're so limited and are so difficult to get uh yeah highly recommend just focusing on the luck plus four nodes with them so yeah i uh, no, don't want to go back yet uh eh, wrong button there we go. And let's uh, get him some more MP as well. All right. Ooh, and Waka still. All right, some evasion and a new ability. What is it? Sleep attack. Yeah, I suppose that could come in handy in certain situations, I guess. But uh, I probably won't be using it all that much unless it's a boss fight. But all right. All right let's take a look at our stats. See, so make sure that we're, okay, so Yuna's 13, Kamari's 10, Titus is 16, so it looks like we're sticking with the same formation we've been going with thus far. Titus, Yuna, Kamari, yeah, let's get it. Let's go uh, overboard and really uh, sort them by agility. Orin's getting left behind in the dust, literally. <laughs> There's agility there, but eh. When is his next agility boost? Uh, oh, it's just a... It was like two sphere levels away, so yeah. All right. So looks like we managed to uh, gain Mr. Seymour's, I guess, uh, get in Mr. Seymour's graces to have him to let us through. But it sounds like he actually really does want us up at the command center. So I guess, or I guess Yuna anyway. But I guess we'll have to uh, make our way up there and uh, see what's going on and see. Oh. I guess possibly bear witness to Operation Me In, because like, because yeah, if uh, the Albed are able to, if they're able, the Albed and the Crusaders are able to defeat uh, Sin, you know, we may just be bringing Yuna, Kamari, or not, yeah, yeah Yuna, Waka, and Lulu home, and uh, that'll be that. And well, I guess, I guess the Crusaders being excommunicated, even though the uh, the Maesters are, you know, at least Maester Seymour anyway, the the Temple's being involved. I think it may just be like something on pa quote unquote on paper to not disrupt everybody else's in case uh, 
in case they fail kind of thing. So like if they fail, then yeah, it just I think they've. Uh, well, they would, hopefully they don't fail because of what could possibly happen. We've seen the destructive force that Sin has, um, his capabilities. Um, so hopefully they succeed. But yeah, I get the feeling the whole excommunication thing may just be something on paper, on the surface, and the. Uh, I guess the, uh, the temple is uh, all for trying to find other ways of defeating Sin other than just, you know, having to go through huge uh, pilgrimages, I guess, from, for uh, people like Yuna and uh, Donna and uh, anybody else, so I don't know. Well, in any case, we have no idea what's going to happen, but it sounds like we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be, uh, I'll say privy, I don't want to say lucky to see the operation, but who knows, if they succeed, we could be see, see, we could see history in the making. I mean, 800 years, the Crusaders have not been able to defeat Sin, but if they succeed here, it'll all be worth the, the struggle. And it'll be, uh, well, imagine what it'll do to the relations between the people in Albed, you know. It could be, it could be a bright future for Spira. But in any case... This is all speculations here, so I'm going to stop doing that. And uh, Next time, we'll make our way towards the command center and see what's up. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like. Liking the video allows other people an easier time in finding the video so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well. Uh, hitting subscribe and enabling notifications if you haven't done so already allows you to keep up with the series here and any future video uploads. And uh, with that as well, welcome to our community. And uh, feel free to share this playlist with any friends, family, anybody else you think might enjoy it as well. The link is in the video description. And also, comments are welcome. Just please keep uh, spoilers, keep it spoiler-free and speculation-free, please. Uh, the only reason I'm doing, like, slight speculations during the LP is simply because I know what happens. And I'm uh, definitely making every effort that I, uh, that I, I can to... Uh, or that I, I, every effort that I'm able to, to uh, keep from... I'm trying to do it in a, uh, a wise enough fashion, I guess you could say, so because I know what's coming. So, All right, this is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.